so far we've looked at properties of waves by uh, examining static images of waves but of course real waves tend to propagate, they move. If you um, throw a stone in a pond, waves propagate away from it, they move away. And they move so, uh, they do so at some particular speed. So here we're going to be able to um, not just state but actually derive to find uh, on our own um, the equation which will tell us the speed of a wave based on some of the properties of that wave and then we'll have a quick look at an example of how we can use that. So if we're going to determine the speed of a wave then we can start off by having a look at the general formula for speed. So we know that speed is given by distance divided by time. So that's nice and straightforward. So we just need to work out some distance and some time for a wave. We can put in those values and that will pop how we can determine the speed of a wave. Uh, so if we imagine our wave, we said there were several properties. We can measure the amplitude, we can measure the wavelength if we're plotting this against position, we can measure the time uh, period if we're plotting this against time. And it's that wavelength and time that we're going to do. So we're going to look at one cycle of this, and we're going to say what's the distance of that one cycle and how long does it take to complete? And that will be our distance and our time. So our distance is the wavelength, and the time is the period. So this wave speed is given by lambda over t. So the time it takes for the wave to pass one wavelength. So the distance for a single cycle, the time for a single cycle, and so that gives us the wave speed. But we also know that frequency is given by 1 over period, so if we've got, this is effectively lambda times 1 over t, so that becomes uh, that the wave speed is equal to f lambda. So v is f lambda, where v is the wave speed, which will be in meters per second. Lambda is the wavelength in meters, and f is the frequency, and so is in uh, seconds to the minus one, or equivalently in hertz. Uh, so a nice straightforward equation, and now we can have a look at an example. So here we've got that the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum goes from 370 nanometers to 740 nanometers. Determine the range of frequencies in visible light. Uh, so what we've got here is two values of lambda. And the question asks us to find f. So from the previous page, we've got that v is f lambda. So we can link the lambda and the f. Um, and we can find what frequency this wavelength corresponds to and what frequency that wavelength corresponds to and that will give us the range. All we need is the wave speed. And the electromagnetic spectrum, its wave speed, is the speed of light. So V is going to be 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So if we want to find the frequency that's going to be the wave speed divided by lambda. And so we can put in 3 times 10 to the 8, and then divide it by, let's start off with the 370 nanometers first. So that's uh, 370 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Uh, so that becomes, in standard form, 3.7 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Uh, we stick this into a calculator, and what we get is a value for the frequency of 8.1 times 10 to the 14 hertz. So we can see the visible spectrum tends to have quite high values for the frequency. This is a typical value for visible spectrum light. Uh, we can then repeat this, 
but instead of 3.7 times 10 to the minus nine, uh, 10 to the minus 7 meters, we're going to put in 7.4 times 10 to the minus 7 meters to get this wavelength of light. Uh, so the frequency at 370 nanometers is 8.1 times 10 to the 14, and when we do the calculation again, it is 740 nanometers, then we get a frequency of 4.1 times 10 to the 14 hertz. So we can see here that a longer wavelength gives us a lower frequency. You can see that frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength. If we've got something with a really long wavelength, uh, it's going to have quite a low frequency for a given wave speed. If we've got something with an extremely short wavelength for a given wave speed, then that means that in a given time we're going to be able to complete a lot more of the cycles, and so that's shown by this much higher frequency.